What is going on you guys? Steve with a video for you today. So today we're going to do a player spotlight video. And before we get into the cards, I want to do a quick shout out to the channel Epic Ella. So Epic Ella is the daughter to our good friend D Khan or D Kane. <laughs> um, on her channel, you see her, she'll do a lot of reviews on the New York Mets. And I figured David Wright would be the perfect guy to do a player spotlight with since he's such a uh, Mets legend. So please go check out Epic Ella. And I will leave a link to her channel in my description. So let's get on to the cards here. Here is some David Wright we're going to share. So David Wright was born on December 20th, 1982 in Norfolk, Virginia. And he, uh, he committed to playing college baseball to Georgia Tech. So he was going to be a yellow jacket, but he ended up just skipping college and going straight into Major League Baseball. And uh, he was drafted by the New York Mets, uh, where he played his entire career as a as a Met, which is really nice to hear about a modern day player playing their whole career with one team. Very rarely do you hear that kind of stuff anymore these days, like these hobby masters. So David Wright debu uh, debuted on July twenty first, two thousand four, with the New York Mets, and he played third base his whole career. Always like some heritage. So uh, he played 14 years in Major League Baseball, and as I said, it was all with the New York Mets. I always hold a little bit extra more respect to, you know, those players that opt not. For, I'm sure he could have went somewhere else throughout his career, but he just chose to stay a Met, and they wanted him there, so it works out. He was a uh, seven-time All-Star and a two-time Gold Glove Award winner. And he was also a two-time Silver Slugger Award winner. And he's also a member of the 30-30 Club, which is when you hit uh, 30 home runs and get 30 stolen bases. So, you know, he had a little speed behind him along with some power. I'm assuming those that you know that speed was during his younger years. A lot of players slow down as they get older. And he also holds uh, the New York Mets rec franchise records for RBIs and doubles. So he got on base quite a bit. And the Mets have had some you know pretty decent names throughout their span as a franchise. And. Uh, you know, injuries kind of really started catching up to him throughout his career. As it, you know, as it does to many players, but uh, throughout his career, he had a 296 career batting average, 242 home runs, 970 RBIs, 1,777 hits, and he had 196 stolen bases. So, um, overall thoughts on David Wright. I think David Wright was a class act baseball player. I remember him, you know, really clear. This is when I probably have my most knowledge on baseball and whatnot is throughout this time. Um, during his playing days, obviously. <sighs> Comparison, not really. I'm not going to compare him to his playing abilities, but what I will, will do is uh, I really like, I really kind of want to compare him to Alex Gordon for the Kansas City Royals because, you know, his his bottom line stats don't really, you know, stand out drastically. He'll never be a Hall of Famer, but he's got so much respect um, from the New York Mets fans and the organization, you know, as Alex Gordon did for the Royals. And just, you know, the fans loved him, the clubhouse loved him. And one of the few guys that just spent his whole career with one team. So, tons of respect for David Wright. And I will finish up. Again, guys, I like to make these right around the five-minute mark. Show a few more, and we will call it a video. So, thank you very much for watching. Please go check out Epic Ella's channel. Oh, yeah, these... uh. Sweet spot cards are really awesome. Miss the old upper decks.
uh, yeah, please go check out Epic Ella, and a link to her channel will be in my description. Thank you very much, guys, and I will get I will get one or two more in here. We'll end it on this one. All right, thanks again, guys.